Hey, welcome to another video. Uh, this time around, this is a build up, a continuation of the previous video I did where I shot Waypoint and Playmaker Unity together in terms of making like a guard or a patrol moving around on specific waypoint. This time around, I want to show how you can use the nav mesh system to uh, kind of make, a, say, tower defense ish type of spawning enemies which looks something like this right so they, they keep going into the end, end of the line so I'll show you how you do that um, I won't show from scratch this time around actually I probably will now that I think about it um, well almost anyway uh, let's see show it how well let's turn off this one and let's go to prefabs let's have this one and let's turn off this one okay let's click play okay more or less so the first thing you want to make whatever you have to make uh, is preferably something that is for the for the learning uh, point of view. So you want to have the ground and the walls put together, and you want to make sure you have a window navigation. We should open this. So on the ground, you want to make sure you have navigation static generate off mesh links, and you want to set it as walkable. For the walls, you select them you want to click the same but you want to make sure that it's not walkable then you go to bake and you want to click bake it won't look like this in your case in your case it will probably look something like this i think and i change it slightly to 0 0.7 to have a more narrow path so the blue way the blue here is kind of the path that something that you decide will uh, move uh, between and uh, it will avoid the walls you can uh, create your own system as you go if you wanted to so click play nothing's gonna happen so let's create a, create a new game object let's make a sphere Let's put it, for example, on this side. So what we're doing, we, we're saying we're going to do a quick test just for, just for the nav mesh. And we want to make sure Now, chances that you don't have a nav mesh agent, that means you need to go to Hutone Games and download it from the, the the website there and find it there. Or you can use Ecosystem if you haven't downloaded, that's quite useful as well. So you can use Ecosystem instead if you wanted to. Which looks something like this, so then you will go like Pathfinding. And you would download this one, and then you should have a nav message in, in your playmaker. That said, uh, now we want this ball to move. So, how do we get it to move? Well, first, we need something called the nav mesh agent. This is basically where you control the speed and everything. So, like in the previous tutorial, you could control it using the variable speed that we created. Here, you want to control the nav mesh agent. And by controlling it, that means also that each enemy you want to spawn would have their own. That way, you could control the speed and everything. Let's take play and see if anything happens. Nothing happens. That's because we need two more things. We need one we need something called uh, destination set agent destination as game object 
and we need a destination to go to so let's create one like this that was doing quite quickly here NMU3 destination and let's try the destination see if it works okay click play that's fine So even though it moved, you want to have one more for more control later. And that would be... Do -do 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 -do. It did move. But warp. It did move. This I'm guessing they updated it, and that's why it's working on the other one. But normally, I would have you would have uh, required this as well. But let's try it without it just to see if it breaks it later on. Uh, so it's moving, but you want to spawn. Uh, several and for that you want to have a spawn point let's make it cube let's put it somewhere around here right and in here let's say create object and we want an meo 3 so let's put that as a prefab let's delete it let's call this one point let's turn off the mesh and the collider and for the spawn point we want to create O3 and I wonder if it's gonna work this time maybe Spawn point like this. Click play. There it is. So I use the same one. I use the spawn point as uh, my system this time around. So I'm spawning on the spawn point. So spawn point is the one creating the object. We need it to move. So let's check uh, destination. It's not gonna work like in the last video when you have a prefab and you drag something from the game uh, hierarchy. It's not gonna work. So the destination. Let's turn that into prefab. And I might as well hide it a bit. Let's click on Neo three. Let's try the destination sorry let's try the destination and click play and it's moving with some minor difficulties and all you have to do now for this particular example I might add is we go once it spawns, we do a wait, and then we do a finish, we go back, and you should have made a typical tower defense wave. 
Now you will have different ones for each enemy, so you could like go for another enemy, you might have a bigger gap because they are a little bit more armored. Or maybe they are still quite fast. So maybe, let's see if that works. So you just tweak around this and that's about it. So this was the last video and this is this time. Two two different ways of doing it. Both are different pros and both are different cons. Uh, on the previous example, if you try spawning, you would have, yeah, by the way, you have to have a destroy code. I didn't bother adding it, I said add more complexity. So I'm just keeping it simple and focused. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Let me know if you want anything else. Okay, thank you.